Hey, this is Craig the Pool Man with Pool Specialist. Today we have a short video on how to sync Pentair lights. So if you look at it, I have over here a Microbrite, and then I have a Globrite, and I have an Intellibrite. That's a Intellibrite for a spa, but um, it's pretty much the same thing as the Intellibrite for the pool. Now the great thing about all these lights is they are all compatible. So you can have Globrites, Intellibrites, and even Microbrites in your pool, and they will all sync. Now sometimes people get them out of sync, and they don't know how to get them back in. So this is a very, very simple solution. And um, if you turn them on, you're going to see we got a red, a green, and a blue, or shall I say it, a red, a blue, and a green. Now, in the book, they have, as I call it, a Dick Tracy decoder ring. And we're gonna show you exactly what the Dick Tracy decoder ring is. And uh, if any of you are comic fans, you'll know what I'm talking about, or if you're old and ancient like me and grew up in the 60s and 70s, you may know exactly who Dick Tracy is and what I'm talking about. But uh, here's the decoder ring, and this is what we're going to do. So if you look at the decoder ring, it tells you that one time you have Sam mode, number two is party, number three is romance, four is Caribbean, five is American, six is California sunset, then royal mode, and then we get into the colors, blue, green, red, white, magenta, and hold and recall. Uh, we don't do a whole lot with hold and recall. If you wanna look into that, I'll be glad to do a video on it, but this is a simple video on how to sync the lights. So the first thing you wanna do, of course, is the lights need to be turned on, and then you will cycle them on and off and to the number of times that you want to go to. So we're going to go to white, which is 11. So we're going to cycle these 11 times. They're on, so what happens is when I cycle them, you're not going to see them flash or anything else. So you turn them off, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now they all come on on white. Now if you notice the Intellibrite is kind of all the colors combined. Now when you get the actual pool in Telebrite, that does have its own separate white. But that's all it takes to sync it, and that would be with a light switch or turning it on and off manually. You could use an Intellibrite controller and just pick a color that isn't already there, or you could use your screen logics, and I'll show you how to do that. If you have these hooked up to a Jandy system, I'll show you how to do that as well. It's pretty simple. So, but typically now you see they're on and they're in white. So if we shut them off and we wait more than five seconds and we turn them back on, they're gonna come back on on white. Now let's just say we wanna take them and we wanna make them blue. So we have to turn them on and off or off and on eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now they all come on on blue. Okay, now if you have problems syncing them, I can explain to you why you might be having issues. Um, these volt, these lights are actually 12 volts technically, but it is better to run them on a higher voltage such as 14 or 15 volts. 
And as you run them on higher voltages, they draw less current, less heat, and they will last a whole lot longer. Because you have to think about your, your loss of your voltage going over that wire. If your transformer was set up at 12 volts, then by the time you get down to the end of that wire, you're probably about 11 volts. So I would recommend using the Pentair transformer, which is a 300 watt transformer, and it has multiple voltages. And here are the voltages, and this is the chart that they have. Okay, so this is the transformer. Of course, we have our hot side all wired up, and that only runs on 120 volts. If you were to put 240 volts on here, you would get double the voltage out on the other side. And if you look at the chart that comes on the back of the cover, you'll find that if you wanted 12 volts, you would go between the orange wire and the brown wire. If you wanted 13 volts, you would go between the orange wire and the yellow wire. And if you wanted 14 volts, you would go between the orange wire and the blue wire. So if you look, I have them capped off. If you let them flandel around inside and they hit a ground, you will short out that transformer. So make sure you put wire nuts on them. Make sure they're nice and tight. Also, um, you're drawing a lot of current. It's low voltage. And so if you think about a, an IntelliBright says that it takes 30 watts. So 30 watts, but let's call it 10 volts. So it's actually taking three amps. So as you start adding these lights up, they start drawing a lot of current. And that's why it's very important to have the right gauge wire coming out of here. If you look at the actual wires coming out of the transformer, they're actually 10 gauge stranded. And if you only have a couple lights, I would highly recommend that you use a 12 gauge stranded, not a solid, a stranded, because stranded will carry more amps than a solid wire will. However, usually when we wire it up, if we have a run between this transformer and the light box, we will use 10 gauge stranded wire. We actually use the marine gauge, which is a much finer strand on it. And it, it's able to support a lot more current and not heat up. If you use too small of a wire, what happens is you get a current drop or a voltage drop across that wire. And when you start getting voltage drops and you start getting voltages that are too low for the lights to function, they will not, they will have a very short life. So they will not last the lifespan that you would expect them to. So it's very important. Um, you don't want to overload it. Again, um, I like the Pentair transformer. If you're going to go with the Intermatic, make sure you get to 300, which is a 300 watt. Make sure you do enough larger gauge wire on it. Um, because as you start cycling through this, then the lights that are weak will kind of not come up to the same color. So if you're having problems cycling through your lights, and you get one that shows up green and one that shows up blue and one that shows up red, um, it's chances are you your transformer's too weak or the voltage is too low. So the lights are really designed to work just fine with 14 volts. So go ahead and hook them up to the 14 volts. They're, it's not going to damage them at all. Uh, actually, if you do hook them up to the 12 volts, by the time you get down to that light, you have about 11, and that will overheat the light, that will damage it, that will damage the circuitry, and you'll have more issues. Now, when it comes to the IntelliBrights, you know, you can buy the IntelliBrights in 12 volts, 
or you can buy them in 120 volts. I would strongly recommend that you get the 12 volts and put in the transformers. Uh, first of all, about 75% of the time when the 120 volt lights burn out, it's because the transformer in the back of the light went bad because it's actually the same light engine in that light as in a 12 volt. So you send 120 volts down to it, it goes through a transformer like this, a bit smaller, because you don't need that much power. And then it takes a 12 volts or probably 14 volts out to the light engine itself. So in essence, you have a 12 volt light there. Now that's on one side of it from a reliability standpoint. On a safety side of it, nobody ever got killed with a 12 volt wire in the pool. So, you know, from the safety standpoint, I would do away with the 120 volts. Any builder that's still using 120 volts is stuck in the 80s or 90s. Everybody today uses 12 volts. That's the way to go. It's safer. This, the lights actually last longer. All right. In order to sync your lights from a Jandy RS system, you want to log into your iAqualink account. You can do this from your phone. You can do it from your computer. This happens to be on a computer. And um, if you do it from your phone, you're going to have to go in the upper right hand corner and click on the little web mode. And then you turn your um, phone in landscape mode in order to see this particular screen. The first thing you're probably going to want to do is go to menu and then you are going to want to go to system setup and you have an auxiliary that is set up for your lights and in this case you can see we have auxiliary 4 set up for pool lights and we can go back and you're going to come down here where it says color lights and in this case there are the IntelliBrights so click on IntelliBright and then you're going to choose whatever is an IntelliBright light such as pool lights this you can see the IB next to it so if I click on this it disappears and if I click on it again then it reappears and then you're going to need to make sure that whatever is connected to those pool lights is set up for IntelliBrights. You save that and now we're going to go back to the main screen and in this case we're going to go over to other devices and it says pool light off. We click that on and now we're going to choose a color. It doesn't really matter what color you actually choose or pattern for that matter. All you want to do is choose one so that it cycles the lights. Because if you just turn the light on, if you just turn it on, it remembers where it was the last time. And so therefore, if your one light thought it was a green and your other light thought it was blue and then you had one that thought it was white well they're going to come on exactly the way they were on before and this way it sends it through the whole sequence to resync the lights so it's as simple as that on the Jandy system um, I do like the Jandy system because as you can see it supports all the different manufacturers lights um, which makes it compatible so that's how you do it on a Jandy system if you have an IntelliTouch or an EasyTouch system by Pentair the way that you would sync your lights is you're going to open it up either on your computer or the app on your phone you're going to come up to this little fish up here you click on that and then it's going to open up this menu. Now we're going to go ahead and click on lights. We're going to, um, of course, 
these are IntelliBrights. So we're going to pick our color and we're going to say blue and we're going to say on. And so now what it's going to do is it's going to cycle through and it's going to set those colors to be on and they're all going to show up as blue. Again, this is the same situation where if you just turn the light on without selecting a color or a mode, it goes to its previous color or previous mode. And if one's green, one's blue, one's white, then it's going to stay that way. But once you select a new color or a new mode, they will all be synced to that mode. Hope that's helpful. So that's what I can tell you about these lights. I hope you found this educational. And if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.